planning and welcome to our first full day in the clutch box. Um, you're quite close to my face because people keep walking past me on the path while I'm uh, just taking Jeff for a little stroll. I'm going to start with the negatives, have a little rant and then we're going to move on with the day and enjoy ourselves. But, well first off, Pete forgot the uh, electric bit of our electric toothbrush. So largely we're just left with the little brushes, which is not ideal, but there we go. I thankfully have a separate toothbrush, um, cause, just because, so I can use that. But I've told him he has to use the little one, because then maybe you won't forget the electric one again. That's not ideal. He also forgot the uh, dog's measuring cup for his kibble. These are both things he uses every single day. So I don't really understand that, but there we go. The other thing is I have not slept very well. I mean, generally the first night of a hotel, holiday, whatever, wherever, I don't sleep very well because, you know, nothing's the same, is it? But with this one, it's always, always the pillows. It's always the pillows. They're incredibly soft, which I don't like very much. Uh, the bed... I think the bed would be all right if the pillows were better, but the pillows are not better. Obviously, we've got Jeff in the room with us, so there are the odd bit. To be fair, he was a very good boy. He went in his bed, and he pretty much stayed in his bed, although where I was faffing about, trying to get comfy, there was a moment I sat up and he was sort of just laying on the floor near me as if to make sure that I was okay, which was nice. But then at like 4.30, that's when the cleaning started, and we're right near the cleaning cupboard. He started huffing and puffing about a little bit, but we only have one bark, so I'm going to take that as progress and as a good thing. Um, but yeah, so that is my moan, and now we're going to get on with the day and have a lovely time. Uh, we have breakfast at half nine, which is why I'm out wandering with, with the dog, and uh, Pete is still in bed when I left him. It was nine o'clock. But yeah, we've got breakfast at half nine. Then I think I'm going to be sad when we get back to the room and re-watch our wedding video because today is actually our one year wedding anniversary. So I'd quite like to watch our video as in the one that I edited on the channel. Uh, just because I kind of want to make that a tradition that I watch that every year because I'm sad like that. And then I think we're going to head over to Borton on the Water because there's a few things there that are dog friendly so there's a maze and a motoring museum so we might check those out see what they're like as you can see lovely blue sky and we're gonna have a lovely day it's gonna be good i'm gonna put this morning's little mishap behind us and we're gonna have a great day but yeah i'm gonna carry on walking this little dog around and then go and pick pete up for breakfast so for anyone interested, there's a children's park there and then that blue bit there, that's a bike wash, a boot wash and a dog wash, which hopefully with the weather, Jeff, we won't have to use that new, will we? Um, but that was a good spot to find. Jeff, you did us a solid at breakfast, thank you mate. So because we have a dog, we had to sit in the bar and not in the main restauranty bit for breakfast. So it was so much quieter and nicer and more relaxed. And that's all thanks to having Jeff with us. Um, and if you saw the uh, cruise videos, you'll know how much I hate a stressful breakfast, so. Pretty nice breakfast. Yeah, it was good. The hash browns are very good. As I said to you earlier, I'm gonna be really sad now and I'm going to uh, sit and watch our wedding video i'll link it up above if you're interested because it is the one on my youtube so on this channel but as i said when am i ever gonna watch it other than the 4th of june each year so so pete got us bored watching his wedding ceremony as he did didn't his wedding ceremony just in the reception bit which it wasn't the reception bit was not reception bit the ceremony. ceremony like, yeah. the whole point of the wedding. 
it's not the whole point of the wedding. It is. The whole point of the wedding is that we get married. <laughs> <laughs> we got married because it's past tense. I wasn't bored on the day. You, you, you did get a bit bored. You got a bit. I, didn't, I just got a bit annoyed at the Vicky guy who just kind of went off on a tangent uh, that we asked him not to. Weird war nuts, yeah. About how good looking people are, 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 are <laughs> I bad still, people. I still don't get it. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to now head off to have an adventure in the Cotswolds, Sporting and Water. I think that's where we're going to head off to. Jeff, get your nose out of your bag, mate. Um, so yeah, let's pack a bag and away we go. Yes. so that you can write what you see on each stone next to the appropriate number on your card. When you found 14 clues, read everything you have written on your card from top to bottom. You just have a message. This will help you find the dragonfly that is hidden in the maze at the centre of the maze. Uh, hint. Some of the stones have pictures on them and you will need to think more carefully about these ones. There will be more than one word to describe the picture. However, one of the words will fit your sentence and make sense. Okay. I'm going to follow Jeff. This is actually a maze that's called the Pumpkin as well. Jeff, come third one. Is that Jeff? Is that a cat? I can't see it, it's more shallow. Hello. Where are we going, Jeff? It's actually ridiculously good, I'm lost. Like, as in, all the... You get these crap mazes where you can kind of see over the top of them. You can't see it at all here. If you haven't gathered, we're in the dragonfly maze, and we decided that Jeff is going to be our leader. So far, he's found four of these flagstones. Really quick. He's like on a mission, it's quite impressive. Um, but he does keep winging on the maze. <laughs> so, but he's outside, I guess he's allowed. But he's like getting into this maze. Boy Jeff, you're doing so well. I just found one that neither of us would have found that. I was like... He goes pretty quick around this maze. Right? He like runs around this maze. We, we are just in the hands of Jeff here. Except all I ever get is Pete's bum because Pete's taken over from Jeff. And now we're just walking around in circles. Right, we think we've done it. We already know the way to the middle because we've done it once before. So we're going to attempt to go and meet the golden dragonfly. That was fun. Actually, very good. Yeah. How long did it take us? 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Jeff gave up halfway through. He took over. And we figured it out. -ish. Jeff found one that probably wouldn't have found them. Yeah, it's still impressed the by the keys. Um, yeah, we well, should actually. But now we're going to head further into Vortan on Water. Hence, the water. This is what I thought our walk yesterday was going to be like. It's got like, is this got um, penguins and... Yeah, and flamingos and stuff, but I don't think it's dog friendly. There we go. Um, so that maze was uh, £4.50 for an adult. Free for a dog. Didn't see the price of a child. But yeah, we're going to head further into Bottom and Water now. Maybe take a seat by the water for a little bit, have a drink. And we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. Oh, yeah. We got some ice cream for Jeff. Oh, 
Oh, that is genuinely freezing. Let's do this. That tastes good. Mm, yum. I think this is a hit. Drop your camera. <laughs> Yeah, I think this might be it. Yeah, you're zoomed in. I'm not zoomed in. You're enjoying that bit. You're demolishing this, aren't you? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a very nice cup. Yeah, enjoy that. <laughs> Pete got lunch from the den. That's so chicken and cheese. And a... And like a, a brookie. A brookie. That's mm. like, massive. Yeah. So we're sharing all of that. Yeah, we're sharing it. Can that be good? Just you know, having a good day? had a nice day, the weather was really nice and all the little shops that we went into were dog friendly and all of that. Uh, we went into, as you've seen from like B-roll and stuff, we went into the motoring museum. Uh, that one cost £15 per... <laughs> what is that? £15 per adult. Um, no, 15 for two. 15 for two. 15 for two, my bad. I was going to say 15 per adult is extortionate. Yeah. Um, that's less bad. 
but I don't know, it was sort of laid out weirdly, so it made it really difficult to actually read anything. And Jeff wanted to hurry up in places. And there was this, like, scan the QR code for the audio guy, but the audio guy didn't really seem to be linked to anything that we were looking at. It was just sort of more, this is what was happening in the motoring industry at this point. Um, so it was good, and it is dog-friendly. I wouldn't do it again. No. Although we did see Bram, and that was fun. No. The maze was very good, though. We was... would do the maze. Yeah. I would do it again, because I still wouldn't find everything in there, though. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I may remember the Clue. the clues, um, but I wouldn't know where I was going. Yeah. So yeah, and it was cheap, and it allowed Jeff, and this is what we like. We yeah, bought another water's pretty town village. I guess it's a village with all of the water and things. Um, the you feeding the dog? Yeah. The... I can see why it's so busy though, because there's things to do. Also, the water bit is shallow that everyone can paddle. Um, although Pete said it was very, very cold. Very cold. Um, there's 101 like cafes and stuff, and ice cream places, and pubs, and so you're not stuff for things to eat so I can see why it's popular um, but it was a little busy but Jeff was a very good boy behaved himself, he went into a pub for a drink yeah I don't know, a, a nice day we are heading to the, what's the name of the pub the Tem, Thames Inn the Tem, something like that um, so we're heading there for dinner Last night's dinner at the waterside Japanese place that you saw earlier on. The food was really nice. The portions were small and it was a bit overpriced for what it is. So I gave it three and a half stars out of five. Pete gave it four. Um, as I said, the food was nice. But they just charged too much for it. So we got five tempura prawns and they were a tenner. Which, that's two pound a prawn, that seems too much. -ish. We thought things should have been around like seven, eight for what we were getting. But as I said, it did taste nice. Oh, it did taste nice and it's sort of a different kind of cuisine than most of the stuff we're probably going to get because a lot of it's going to be pop food. Uh, like last night, I'll take my phone with me and I'll do the whole dinner bit on there if I remember to actually film and not just hoy food down my throat like I did last night. Um, sweet. So I forgot to end the video last night. Um, dinner was good, sort of standard pub fare, but nice enough. Um, and as soon as I stop this clip, I'm going to start my next video. So if you've enjoyed this one and our day two porting on the water, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already and you're interested in the following days that we've got in the Cotswolds and things in the future, then go ahead and click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye!